I purchased three mystery boxes from three different sellers, and we're gonna see which one of these has the best value. And just so you guys know, I ordered these mystery boxes under a different name, so nobody knows that I purchased them, meaning that I should be getting exactly what you could expect to get out of these mystery boxes. First off, we got eBay coming in at $50. Next up, Etsy for $70. And last, but certainly not least, Tarjay with $50 value. I spent between 50 to 70 on each of these boxes. Let's start off with good old eBay. So $50 for this. The first thing I'm gonna tell you guys is the packaging is a 10 out of 10. I mean, no padding and it's like ripped up already. Let's, let's, let's go in, let's go in and see what we got. So we've got like the case here, it's metal and it is all dinged up because there wasn't any like bubble wrap or anything. So like if you wanted to keep this as a collectible, eh, not too good, not too good. All right, but it, it, let's just see what's inside. So eBay, $50. Okay, I see packs. We got all kinds of stuff here. We're gonna go a little bit quicker. And every time I go through each of these boxes, I'm gonna tell you the total value out of each of these. And we're gonna total it up at the end and see which one's the best. Let's start off here. We got a deck box here. A classic Pokemon deck box from Ultra Pro. Pretty good quality. We got like a little, a little mini binder portfolio here. Not bad. These are actually pretty cool. I've never actually owned any of these screw down cases, so these are where you put your cards in here and you they're screw down so it's a hard it's hard uh case so you can put it in it's kind of like a psa case then we got the let's play ev theme deck box these are pretty cool i've actually never owned one of these before got our coin and our pin zorark and here are the goodies let's get this out of the way all right we've got two crimson invasions that those are all right detective pikachu packs are pretty cool actually so we got one, two, three, four, five Detective Pikachu packs. Celestial Storm is another set that's like, meh, it's all right. One, and then Guardians Rising, two of those. So not like the craziest packs out of this one. Ultra Pro Deck Box, $7. Screw Down Case, $5. Eevee Theme Deck is actually worth 20 bucks. Add $2 on for the pin and the coin. Another $5 for the mini binder. Detective Pikachu packs are about $3 each, so $15 total for these. $6 total for the Guardians Rising packs. $4 for the pack of Celestial Storm. And then another $6 total for the Crimson Invasion packs. So total is $70. We spent $50 on the box, so we got about a $20 difference there in value. Let's crack into these packs that we have right here. And the rest of the stuff, it's really stuff that I'm not really going to use. Um, so mystery boxes are kind of weird, right? You get more value sometimes, but like, are you actually going to use the mini binder? Are you going to use the deck box and stuff like that? I say... We crush through these packs, see if there's anything in here. Of course, any value that we get out of these packs won't be added into the total, really, unless we take off the value, what we actually uh, calculated in from the packs, if that makes sense. All right, nothing out of that one. These aren't like big hitter packs, but I say we might as well open them up and see if there's anything else that we could get. Okay, non-hollow out of that one. Striking out. We got two more packs. Guardians Rising. Let's see if we can bring it home with something out of here. And then we're going to move on to our next box that we have here. Nothing out of that one. All right, last pack magic. Let's go. I want to see what's in the Etsy box. I think we'll do that one next. Oh, non-hollows out of all of them. All right, so next up, we're going to go to the Etsy box. So Etsy, $70. And this one's definitely packaged a lot better. It feels like there's like definitely padding inside of there hopefully what is that we got squirtle squirtle socks yo okay oh there's something inside of the socks oh okay oh okay yeah it's cool but i'm gonna say one thing i can already tell you i can already tell you this is a bootleg this is not a legitimate game i can tell you without even opening this up so this is pokemon crystal which is awesome but it is a bootleg so we got this one from Etsy, and you know, with Etsy, a lot of stuff, people will, like, make themselves or whatever. Actually, I don't think they, they probably didn't make this. They probably just got it somewhere, but yeah, this is not authentic. There's a lot of ways you could tell, but most of you guys, if you ever own this game, you could just tell right off the bat, just looking at this thing. It has the clear case. Not really going to count that, but we got, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. It's, it's like Christmas already. They, they, the stocking stuffers. Code cards. All right, get your code cards. Code cards. All right, code cards. I like the Squirtle socks. Got a little toy, little Sid Viper. Ooh, collection box. Choxtricity. Nice, so some Sword and Shield, probably base set on here. There's some evolutions though. Check it out. The evolutions and uh, that might be Cosmic Eclipse back there. So Toxtricity V-Box. Here we go. All right, Sword and Shield. We've got blisters, which are cooler. I like the blister sort of like packs. Sword Shield base, base base so three base we got rebel clash a lost thunder and another rebel clash here we go cosmic eclipse checkout lane blister 
So one pack in there. All right, more Sword Shield base. It's not, but Sword Shield base isn't like one of my favorite sets, honestly, in Rebel Clash either. But uh, we got a three pack blister, bubbles, padding. Oh, there we go, evolutions. That is a big hitter pack. We're definitely opening up that for sure. Another Sword and Shield set, not again, but I, I like the sealed stuff. I like that. I like this, even though it's Sword Shield base and Rebel Clash. What is this? TCG Lightning Box. Oh, I've actually never got one of these. This is probably, yeah, Fairfield Company. So it's a third party company. So there's two evolutions in here too. So we're doing good. A mystery card behind there. We'll definitely open this up. More blisters. All right, this is pretty solid so far. Cosmic Eclipse. Spent $70 on this. I feel like this one might actually be worth it. We got more packs. We got Cosmic Eclipse. We got another Sword and Shield Checkout Lane Blister. Piling up the sealed packs here. I think there's more. There's, there's more. More Sword and Shield base. <laughs> more Sword and Shield base. If one wasn't enough, if two wasn't enough, we even have another one from earlier. Unbroken Bonds. All right. I like Unbroken Bonds a lot. That's solid. This feels weird. What is this? It's like a tin? Ooh, we got a tin. A Dragonite tin. Um, I'm not sure what's in there. Three packs. We're going to find out, though. The Dragonite tin. I love me some Dragonite. Ooh, and the Salamence. And we got it. We got a casualty. Look at that. Not good. Okay. But hey, it's just whatever is inside here, we're going to open up. No, nothing else. So much sword and shield. We got a lot of value here. I don't know what the total is, but we're going to find out here in a second. But I like the fact that we got a ton of sealed stuff to kind of look at. You know, most of it is authentic. And, you know, besides, obviously, this Pokemon crystal, which, again, is cool. But I'm not going to count this. I'm definitely wearing these Squirtle socks, $5. So these are going for about 25 bucks. That's actually quite a lot of value already. Remember, we spent $70 total on this box. Toxtricity box is another $20, so we're already at $50. $10 total for the Cosmic Eclipse checkout lane blisters. Sword and Shield base blisters seem to be going for about $6 a piece, so another $12 total. These three pack blisters of Sword and Shield base are going for about $10 each, so $30 total. Dragonite tin going for about $20, and the Salamence tin going for $15, so $35 added onto there. We're well over $100 so far. $12 total for the Sword and Shield base blisters. $5 for the Unbroken Bonds checkout lane blister. Another $23 for these three blisters total. And then these Rebel Clash blisters are $4 each, so another $8 on the total, which brings it to $208. So the Etsy box had a ton of value. We spent $70 on it, and we got up to $208 in total value, which is an extra $138 in value over what we paid. And just so you guys know, the seller for this box is two guys, toys, and more. So we had so much value out of there, and there's so much sealed stuff that we can't possibly open it all in this video. I'm going to open up a select few items, and then we'll open the other ones up in another video. So these are kind of cool. The Salamence one, I actually have no idea what's in here, so let's see what we got. Code card going out. Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows, that's solid. And an Evolutions, and it's the Charizard pack artwork. Let's go. Let's start it off with Evolutions. Can we get a big hitter Charizard out of here? card all right we're gonna fly through these magic card reverse and a charizard let's go yo first pack magic this box is fired charizard ex as well as our magic card reverse what is with the poke cave luck that is insane check out that artwork burning shadows of course you can get the rainbow charizard which is insanely difficult to pull but let's see what we can do nothing out of this one We've got Crimson Invasion. And guys, don't forget to smash the like button if you're enjoying this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you want me to keep doing these mystery box type videos. Seems like you guys are enjoying them. And a Gengar Hollow. I love Gengar, so that's actually really sick. And don't forget, we still have the Target $50 mystery box. We're going to get to that in just a second. Let's see if we get the Blastoise and Piplup out of here. That artwork is insane. The tag team cards in here are really cool. Raichu, not hollow. Lost Thunder is a pretty solid set. Get the Lugia out of here. I believe there's a Tyranitar as well. Let's go. Victini non hollow. Jumping back to the evolutions. I kind of want to keep this sealed because it's the long blister. You don't really find these anymore, but let's do it. Let's see if we continue the luck with evolutions. All right. Code card out. Metapod reverse and a Starmie non hollow. Let's see what's in the mystery box within the mystery box. I've never opened up one of these four. I think there's another pack in here. It's Steam Siege. They hid the Steam Siege back there. See that? Mystery car. It's probably going to be nothing. Yep. Bag on reverse. Guardians Rising. Yo! Tapu Coco. Full art. What a beautiful artwork. Some first pack magic out of the mystery box within the mystery box. Some more evolutions. We got Fire and an Electrode non hollow. Steam Siege. We've got Galvantula non hollow. And then our final evolutions pack. If 
Final Evolutions is gonna be, yo! That is nuts, we actually got one of these last time we opened Evolutions out of a mystery box. The Mega Venusaur EX full art, the Evolutions is pulling out the fire. You know what, I gotta see what's inside this Dragonite tin. All right, Dragonite holo card, that is actually really cool. It's off center though, but still really nice artwork. I just wanna see what's in here, code card. Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows, and Evolutions. All right, let's crack these and then we'll move on to the target mystery box. Evolutions, just feeling lucky today with the Evolutions. Charmander, Mewtwo Reverse, and an Arcanine. <laughs> All right, Mewtwo Reverse is sick. Let's see what we get out of Burning Shadows. Meowth, Crimson Invasion. All right, Crimson Invasion, nothing. Beedrill not hollow. And our biggest hitters from the packs there. You can't really add these into the value though, but they're really cool to pull nonetheless. Last but not least, good old Tarjay. Let's see what we got out of this final mystery box. $50. So just so you guys know, this is the seller. It's a third party seller. It's not directly from Target. It's just sold on Target's website. Oh, okay. We got another one of these sort of like Pokemon box things. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's see what we got. I have no idea what to expect out of here. So, ooh, I don't know about this one. Eh, I already don't know about this one. All right, Squirtle Cup thing. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong, but eh, it's actually pretty cool. I like this. I like this. I got a bad feeling about this box, though. It looks really empty. Jumbo Eraser. Okay, I got to see what this is. All right, I want Gengar or one of the starters. Okay, I'll take it. That's pretty sick. That's a big eraser. 2016. Pretty old. Not something I'd collect, but you know, it's probably not even gonna be any cards in here. Uh, okay, perfect. Just in time for the for the holiday season. Let's go. Here's the value on it. Twenty six dollars apparently. And we got a Squirtle clicker pen. I like the Squirtle theme at least. But yeah, this is stuff that I would definitely like not buy. And for the coffee. All right, that's a that's a nice sized mug though. I'll give them that. That's a pretty big mug. Twenty fifteen date on the bottom. That's pretty cool. Again, not something that I probably wouldn't buy, but I don't mind having it. So this box, in terms of value, not so good at all, and I probably wouldn't recommend it at all. It's not stuff that I would personally like to purchase, just novelty type items. Squirtle pen, going for about $6. This hat I actually found online for $15. This Squirtle cup, $15. The eraser, $4. And then this mug, $15. So a grand total on this stuff is $50, and that's exactly what we paid on that one. So that was definitely the worst value. The second best one that we had was the first box off of eBay where we got a $20 value. We spent $50, got $70 out of value out of that one. So that one was okay, but the biggest hit for sure was going to be our Etsy box, which we spent $70 on. We got over $200 in value, and it was all really good Pokemon card stuff, sealed stuff. So that is the one that I would recommend. The other ones, not so much. And... Our winner officially is going to be Etsy coming in first place. Second place is going to be our eBay seller. And third place is going to be our Target seller who was a third party seller, which was $50 on the, the spot there. So that is going to be it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, guys, again, if you want to see me do this stuff more frequently, let me know down below in the comments. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you on the next one.